Vicky Young there at Westminster. We've been there with Dr. Lauren Gavahan, a junior doctor and a senior registrar in psychiatry. Hello to you. Thanks very much indeed okay. for coming in. Um, will you be on strike tomorrow? I shall be on strike tomorrow, yes. Okay. And when you decided to take that decision um, not to provide emergency care, um, how did you feel? Well, I think the first thing I would say is we have to report this responsibly. And I think this rhetoric that we are not providing emergency care it is true in that junior doctors will not be providing it, but it is not true that there will not be emergency cover. And there are brilliant plans in place by hospitals across the UK where consultant doctors, the most senior doctors in the NHS, will be there covering for juniors. And this is crucial because I think what we don't want is the public thinking, oh my gosh, I can't go to hospital because of all this stuff written in you know, the papers. It's, it's very sensationalist. People must go to hospital if they're unwell. You will be seen by a very senior person in hospital. And actually, the staffing levels tomorrow will probably be better in many respects than many other days in the NHS. So although I do this with a heavy heart, and I really stress that, I have never in my career ever believed we would get here. I said it to a colleague today, I cannot believe we are here. It is absolutely unprecedented. This is the first time in NHS history that this is happening. Exactly, um, but to be clear, you are not providing your labour in an emergency tomorrow. Yes, you've said that there are contingency plans, but you have taken this momentous decision yeah. with your career. Now, the government has said, we are willing to sit down and talk to the junior doctors on this, and they've refused. Yes. And that is true, isn't it? Well, no, it's not true. I would really say absolutely not true. Jeremy Hunt, the Secretary of State for Health, has not once sat down in public and talked to a junior doctor. And that, to me, it says everything. Well, why aren't we having debates? Why aren't we having open, frank, transparent discussions mm -hmm. on media with Jeremy Hunt? Because the government says it will not be blackmailed. The junior, well, doctors, the junior doctors are saying we will not sit down and have a discussion about the new contracts until you withdraw the threat of yes. imposing the contract. And that's, that's the condition. That's the key. Because 54,000 doctors who for the first time in 40 years, the first time tomorrow in history will go on full strike, are saying very clearly this contract that is going to be imposed is going to endanger our patients. We will not go forward with this. And if the government is saying they are set on imposing it, we must stand up to that. If a pilot was told fly your plane even though you know it's going to crash, they wouldn't do it. They would stand up and speak to power, and I think that's what we are doing. But withdrawing your labour in emergency cases is but the way to achieve that. But we need to say, again, that we're not leaving hospitals in the lurch. There are there, Hospitals are planned for weeks for tomorrow. There are consultants, probably more consultants ever than before, that are going to be on the hospital floor tomorrow. So people will get care. This thing about a manifesto pledge, I mean, the government didn't have the right to go ahead and, um, and destroy the workforce of the NHS. Was that in the manifesto? No, it wasn't. This government are dismantling the NHS. Why on earth? A government, if they claim they value the NHS, they care about it so much, why destroy the workforce? They're taking away nurses' bursaries. Why? We must ask these questions. And actually, it's, it, when we look at the wider picture, let's have a look at 30 years. We've got privatisation happening very, very rapidly in this health service. Those are the questions we must ask. All right. Okay. Lauren, thanks very much. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks.